Hello guys, this is Sarah Tutorials, and I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. Um, this time I'll be showing you guys how, how to create a professional lighting studio. I've already done a tutorial like this one, but um, I'll try to get more creative with this than the last one. The last one I just basically ripped off Grayscale Gorillas, and I showed you guys how to do it. But uh, this time I'll be as I said, I'll be more creative. I'm not the best at lighting studios, but I'll try to show you guys the best, to give you guys the best result. Um, before I start, I want to mention that I got partnered with YouTube. Um, I didn't get my partner features yet. I don't know why. Maybe I'll wait for a few weeks and maybe I'll receive my partner features. Because my friend says that um, you'll have to wait a little bit but uh, I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel, for liking, favoriting my videos. Um, yeah, thank you. A bit, big thank you guys for that. And yeah, let's get to the tutorial. Um, here's what we are going to be creating. I will try my best to recreate this lighting studio. Um, so yeah, let's go to file, or oh, sorry, I'm, I have to review quickly the dimensions of the studio, uh, 4,000, 2,000, 7,000, okay. Um, so yeah, file new, let's create a cube, which is going to be our studio, and for the X size, 4,000, for the Y, um, for the Y2000, I think, yeah, 2000. Actually, I'll scale it down. Uh, let's go X2000, Y1000, because it was, it was way too big. Um, <laughs> and then Z7000, uh, 7, 7 uh, 3,500, oops, 3,500, okay, so we got a nice size studio here, let's rig it up over our grid, just quickly here, okay, um, now select fillet, select the cube and then select fillet, and fillet radius, Increase that to 100, 100, or actually 150. Okay, and fill it subdivision. Let's put that to two just for now. Okay. Uh, now go to MoGraph and select Cloner and um if you go to mode in cloner object mode or actually no um i think it's somewhere else uh let me have a minute here actually first of all let's create a object oops let's create an object that we want to clone yeah i think that's what we have to do first so yeah create a create a cube okay um the cube size uh let's put that to 100 and 55 and um on every parameter 155 on X, Y, and Z, 155. Okay, and let's drag it over here so we can see it. Okay, now let's drag this cube below our cloner as a child. Make sure it shows a down arrow. And select the cloner. And um, yeah, in mode, go to object, select object. Okay, 
um, then grab this big cube which is our studio grab it and drag it on into the object here in cloner okay and um, select render in instant instances and uh, fix texture uh, change that or actually no no don't don't touch that and um, let's see um, let's change the distribution uh, let's see I don't remember which one I chose edge um, I think I have I had vertex. Uh, if we just go back to our large cube and change the segments, um, sorry, I if you miss anything here at Cloner, um, I kind of went over it too fast. I think uh, so. Mode object clones in in rate, and then we have the object here and distribution we have vortex so just if you missed yeah let's go back to our cube now yeah let's um, increase the segments um, to uh, 10 let's try 10 on X and let's see what is the best for Y Let's try four on Y and let's see what's going to be best for Z. Uh, for Z, let's try uh, 19. 19 looks good. Okay, so it's looking quite good right now. We have this. Um, basically our room that's made of squares and it looks kinda cool so if we zoom in to the room uh, let's let's create a material for this room um, so double, double click on the material stab and double click on the new material you have created okay um, here change the color to white click OK um, reflection select reflection uh, turn the bright brightness down to zero then go to texture press Snell and change the mix strength to 10 okay and drag it onto our cubes okay so now we have created a material for our cubes all right looking good and now let's create uh, the actual light source so create a plane um, create uh, get a cloner from MoGraph then select cloner and drag the plane below the cloner as a child select the cloner uh, mode grid array and I'll just drag it up so I can see it better okay um, in the middle change the count to 1 and um, on the sides keep the count as 3 and 3 and then the size increase that so that you have the explain separate and here to separate the planes okay and let's drag those planes up like so do the ceiling okay and let's create another material so double click on the material tab double click on the new material um, color deselect that deselect specular and select luminance 
and for luminance let's change the brightness to 150 okay and drag this new material over our planes all right now um now let's create an object so let's create a sphere just for an example here uh, make it a little bit bigger segments turn the segments up so that it's more smooth and let's go to render settings go to effect emit occlusion effect global illumination and global illumination in iridan sketch tab Change those stochastic samples to low and record density to also low. Okay, and let's let's create a new material also for the sphere. And you can change the color to whatever you like. I'll just try purple just for now. And select reflection, go to texture, Fresnel, and drag it onto our sphere and now let's try and render this and I'll I'll be back once it's done rendering alright so this is what we get um, it's pretty cool looking it's not exactly the same way as I created the other one I showed you guys uh, but it's pretty cool it has some reflections on the sides and it looks pretty neat it's probably the best that I can do um, so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, please thumbs up the video please comment and subscribe and thank you again for uh, helping me get partnered I waited for this a long time and I can't wait to get my features I hope I'll get them I hope they won't just leave me out and you know because I don't know when they're gonna reply to me about the features so yeah let's hope I get that but yeah thank you again um, see you guys later